Well, bugger me. <laughs> Chopped her head off. That's morning. Can oh. you see me? I can, I, see, I can see your hairstyle. <laughs> oh, I, I had it clipped down. Oh, uh, no, I'd do that. I wondered I could... why it was all blank. <laughs> How you going? They're not too bad, yeah? You all right? I'm feeling, I'm feeling chilly. Well, you know, I've got a fleece on because I feel cold, but the sun never gets in my house, so it's always cold in here anyway. Ah, uh, right. My hands are cold, so... Before I forget, um, uh -huh. can you send me the link for that mop brush? Because I think I had... I must have had the same one as you bought the first time, where the hairs kept coming out. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get a you different wouldn't have got, one. It's terrible when that happens. Yeah, I know. I mean, Morning. You... Am I there with Hi, you Carol. or not? Hi. I can't see your picture, but I Oh, can hang see. on. I haven't got it on. Oh. Um, I've just asked you to do it now. Yeah. And it works. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh. right. Yeah, I got my mop brush. I got the size um, four, oh. I think it was. Yeah, All I right. just. They're quite expensive, aren't they? Yeah. It annoys you when you buy online because they give you a price and then they add all these other bits on, don't they? All right. Time you get to the the end. The end, yeah. The I wish they just give you the, the proper price. Start, yeah, yeah. 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 Hang on, let's put that on. That's better. So how did we all do with George? <laughs> yeah, I quite enjoyed doing it, but I, I quite like doing portraits. Yeah, I must admit, I'm getting into it now. But I'm, I'm only going to do it every other week. I think I'm going to keep yeah. that going. I, yeah. I think yeah. any more I than that. Yeah. I get fed Was up that... with it. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'll get bored. I just think it's bloody hard. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, morning, Chris. Morning. I haven't got any right. messages. Yeah, I'm just looking to see if I got any messages from from Terry, but I haven't. All right. I Did sent him. him after, after yeah. I've I've sent him. I keep sending him the links. Right. Well, are we gonna uh, Are we gonna see all our pictures? Yeah. You haven't put them on our gallery. Let's have a no, look. No, I haven't. Did. No. <laughs> are they <not> good? <laughs> Need to do better. <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm saving them. I said. Oh, right. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> well, let's have a look. <laughs> I wanted to do. I wanted to wait until um, everyone's had come in, and then I can. Hang on a minute. There's loads of them. <laughs> I would have quite do, I would have quite enjoyed doing it in just pencil and sketch because I did a good drawing and then you paint it and it all goes a bit you think oh yeah. it's not right you can't rub it out can you no oh, oh that's mine that's <laughs> good I couldn't get my hair right but that that looks good that it's really yeah that's it's not easy with George it's got it's the hair is quite a prominent part of it yeah and i kept go, going over it with white and it didn't seem to so yeah. i think i yeah the eye that's open more i think i got all right i didn't get the other one quite right and he looked a bit sort of mm. around his that? mouth was a bit oh <laughs> that was chrissy oh that was, that's yeah, good. Good one, yeah. yeah that's good that's um I think I put that one down. It's, it reminds me of um, Andy Warhol. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I, picture is non-existent now because I hated yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I say I can't. Yeah, I know. That's why I've. I've the glasses were quite hard to do, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. I did say, didn't I? Right, what? Free that forget about the glasses to the end, and you don't yeah. need to put the whole glasses in, just put yeah, well, I an intimation. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we've got more dark practice. Lines. <laughs> more oh, practice. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. find his eyes, his eyes were the hardest because they're so hooded. Yeah, yeah, you had to start, you had to think about um, how we got that one to do later. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I clocked oh, no. it down. 
<laughs> at no. one point, at one oh, point, God. we got Can we do... just do a hand on its own first without <laughs> loads of fingers in it? Oh, no, it'd be easy. <laughs> Where's Pauline's? You haven't showed us Pauline's yet. There's... There is. Yeah, well, they, they, they've all got a likeness, haven't they? Of yeah. yeah. They all mm -hmm. caught something. I can, I think I can shift you. I can brighten that one up to do that. Yeah. That brightens. I can do that on my computer. But I didn't have my mop brush time. I had to do all that, you know, the filling in the big bit. So oh, I right. haven't actually yeah. used it yet. I got that pleasure to come. <laughs> I had a problem with mine because I had Dave's problem where all the hairs kept coming out of it. Oh, got a tough one. <laughs> oh, morning, Joyce. Bruce morning. is quiet. Good morning. Hi. Hi, Joyce. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 I did a bit of work on mine at uh, the Fun Factory. <laughs> don't know where it is. Hang on. Dun, dun, dun. Have you got a Joyce's? We're talking, I haven't done one. We're talking um, about George. Joyce. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't interrupt. I saw that uh, that was on the screen. Yeah. Um, hang on. You've I lost do. your Dave. <laughs> Am I still? Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I've lost the plot. Um, and now I'm spotlighted. Hi, I'm Spotlight Dave. <laughs> oh, now I'm nobody. Now I'm somebody. <laughs> Hang on, who am I going? Oh, oh there you go. I've got... Yeah, I've, I've got him, oh, I've yeah. got him almost, almost right. Yeah. Still got... Looks... Yeah, it when, looks. When you do all your tinkering, though, I find that really hard because I go and muck it all up. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else finds that difficult when you go back to it. That's more like it is. Yeah. That's that's pretty accurate. That. Yeah, it's good. Color wise. Yeah. Yeah, I worked. I did a bit on it. Um, what was I say? The the thing that um you you that i mm, that i keep advocating is you can, if you use your i've got a little flat brush here but if you, and you can even though it's i've not touched it for days and it's still yeah i did do that but i put some it. yeah you can I lift put some color on by the eyebrows and it wouldn't come off you can get some marvelous soft effects just and just using a piece of tissue in my hand if you make it damp the brush <laughs> wipe it and wipe it off in your tissue and then you can like there's a little thing over there that doesn't feel right might have to mm. yeah you know, i was doing it for a little while still got to do some work on the jacket and all the rest of it but yeah I'm quite pleased with it. Oh, actually, I'm quite proud of that one. I yeah, think it's I've, lovely. I think I've captured him. But you can see what I'm on about the glasses. I've, they're not there on the top there. No. But they are uh, just a little line, yeah. But all I need is a little hint of it there, like yeah. it is on that bit. And it looks okay. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was working. I've been working on just that bit in there, just try and lighten it up a bit. But I keep mm. looking at looking at. Um, different images and photographs um, and seeing different um, <laughs> different lights and dark, you know, I can't get the right, <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Um, no, I think that's good. I think, I think one of the things I've been saying is um, to do you know get to a certain stage with it walk away <coughs> walk away come back could be months later i still got the queen on the other side of the the room <laughs> she's a um 
on the um, on the easel as it happens. And I've been looking at. I was looking at it. Well, actually, it's right next to where I'm. Where I nod off. <laughs> and I've still been looking, and I haven't really touched. Well, I have done a few. I've tweaked it a little bit here and there, but I must admit. Well, hang on, I'll show you. Oh, that's nice. But I keep, yeah. I keep tweaking. I, well, I haven't touched it for ages, but I, I was looking at it this morning thinking I must start putting in a bit more information on her coat and her flowers, brighten them up a bit. But I keep looking at it thinking, oh, I like that one. <laughs> it's like, it looks like the queen to me. And I've got the brooch to fizzle in and a few bits. But like I say, that's been, that was months ago, wasn't it? Like it, yeah. it was a while ago um, in the pipeline we've got um, what's his name Cassius Clay mm. I've done what, did I show you the image of that I don't think I did uh, the one I think I might have done yeah it was yeah the black and white one it was the black and white one, but I I was looking thinking about it this morning, thinking, do you know what, I might do that in colour or we'll try and colourise it a little bit, mm -hmm. just for the just for the heck of it. I'll have to I'll zoom the the um, image up and stuff, you know. But that's a nice one. Well, I've got that one. Where's the other ones? Yeah, there's that one. Mm, that's nice. And ooh, ooh, don't you just do that to me. And that one, he looked big. Oh, I like yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I like that one. Yes, he's looking very handsome there. Mm, mm, absolutely. <laughs> we'll do that one then. See so the cho choice between the two, really. I thought he looked a bit. I don't know. Angry, a bit like menacing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <coughs> yeah. Okay. We'll have a fight later about all that. Then sort of. Mm. He's got. That's quite a good look he's got in his eyes, isn't it? He's, he's thinking. Mm. You can almost sense that <laughs> there's something going on in the head here. That's yeah. thinking. Okay. <laughs> you're in. You're in deep doo doo. <laughs> you're going. You're going to get whooped. Um, <laughs> But today's one, um, where's the images for that? Da, da, da. I sent a load out, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. Because. Yeah. I just looked and I thought, oh, which one are we supposed to be doing? Or have we got a choice? No, I did a, <laughs> what's it called? Sandbank, singing. Sandown, sorry. Mm-hmm. Can we yeah. put a little caravan with Anne and Gordon in it? Because that's exactly where they are now. Oh, <laughs> are they? Yeah. yeah, it is, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. Lucky um, them. Um, if you go there, it's nothing like that. So if you look at it, it's more like Minehead or Weymouth. It's all mm. sort of built up. And, but, it is, mm. but that's looking the other side of the pier. And then I... I thought mm, that's what she wants. The lady was after, and then I found another one of the just the pier with a pretty dramatic sky, which I thought, ooh, <laughs> that's that's some. Um, oh. rem I remember doing an old Harry with that sort of sky thing, uh, thinking I had a go at it, but but then I put the island in the background or. The headland in the background and the um pier and then put some figures in so i composed all three that's the that's the one the composite image of all three um i did a line version of just the pier just so i could pick out any detail and that's the uh, another one of it but i thought well we'll have a laugh here and when i <laughs> I say that every week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was down. I was downstairs just now, just thinking. Oh, 
like I'll wet me whistle before I start this lark. <laughs> Saying to Mel, I, as I walked out, I didn't know she I didn't know she heard me. As I walked out mm. the kitchen, it was like, um, I don't know, these things are getting harder and harder. <laughs> it was like, why do I feel mm. pressured? You know, why am I doing this? I don't need to do this. I don't... <laughs> it's one of those oh dear, I've been so, I've been a bit preoccupied with me. Um, What's it call it? Greenhouse thing. Oh, yeah. Dummy head in that is. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get it while I'm drinking my tea. You can. It's nothing flash, but it's. Um, where am I looking? Mel stuff. No, Dave stuff. I've got folders all over the place. One's called Dave stuff, G four. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Hang on. I'll have to share this one. While I wet me whistle. <laughs> share screen. Look at that. Ponderosa. Oh. So started mm -hmm. off next to the shed. So I had to dig all that up. Then graveled it. Built the little thing. And it looks fairly quick when you do it like that. But it was took me bloody ages. <laughs> Because these are like the garages, the neighbours, the back neighbor, over the back, that back mm. on. So mm. I've, I've put um, putting trellis up there, and mm. I've got uh, climbing roses growing up there, and that's a little rat run behind the shed. <laughs> so I've got to keep them happy. So I put give them look, give them a little path that will run up <laughs> down on there. <laughs> Oh, God. What a bloody sweetheart yeah. I am. <laughs> oh, angel. I was talking, I was around the, the other side of the garden. There's my log cabin. And I, I was, there's a big area behind there. And I was in there and I got caught talking to the next door neighbor yesterday. And um, he said, Do you see any uh, four legged little things running around? I said, No, oh, there's. There are still quite a few around. He said, yeah, there's a blooming great big one. We run through there. Yeah, I said, yeah, that's the run. They run up right along that wall of the carriage and up through there into your garden, <laughs> get fed, and, and then run back home <laughs> under my shed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> They're oh. everywhere. They're oh, everywhere. Funny. Oh. The funny thing about rats, I oh, know it's going off topic. The funny <laughs> thing about rats is, if you've got them in your garden, you think you're that the, the, their eyes, or you talk to anyone else about it, they they almost like sense that it's just in your bit. <laughs> it's not in our garden. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh, they're they're everywhere. The more oh, there. I do you know what I put I put bait down for to upset them. And they eat it. They don't care. <laughs> you can buy like these little rack, these cakes of bait. And I bought one and it said, this is the most highly potent rat bait it, you can buy in the UK. And I thought, well, that should sort of quiet things down for a bit. Did it? Does it? Heck? I'm on the last, last box of three. And every one I've put in, they, they've just ate it. <laughs> I know they're supposed to, but yeah. it's the speed that they... Happened. Yeah. yeah, nothing... Well, there's still <laughs> plenty of them around. Um, perhaps you've got more than what you think. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's very nice, I must admit. I don't like going out there at night. No, <laughs> Um, well, I always, always have the garden fork in front with me handles. And... <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. So what do you reckon on today's subject then? I mean, I'm standing up now. I'm not, I'm not, I ain't got no, I've, I've got no, very often I've got a preconceived notion of what I want. Hmm. What I, what I was going to do and it, 
this this notion seems to be coming more further and further away every flipping week. <laughs> Hang on, let's see if I can get this. That one's square. I want this to be square. Ah, it's not the. Hang on, guys. Got to get there. Just tweak that. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Get a square. Go up a bit. Up a bit. Stop. Because I use different size paper every week. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, that was. This, I started off. I did a little video, didn't I? That was a sketch. The sketch looks better than the one I did. I've done. <laughs> well, it's always the way. I think it's just because it's darker, and I've used um, a different pencil. But hey ho, I wet my palette last night, so that'd be fun. But I haven't got any plans of special colours, so I'm, st I'm sticking with the one that I had, you know, this little hand one. Mm. And the only colours I've, I haven't even cleaned up the um, little containers. I suppose I ought to do that a sec. Get some tissue out of the bucket. I throw all my old tissues in the bucket and keep them for painting. Dear, oh dear. Scruffy. Um, yeah, so the colours, I've just got my normal... The ones that I had... Oh, now it's going to make me water filthy, isn't it? Oh, joy. Well, maybe I'll just wipe it a bit. Keep a bit... Oh, God. Dave. Yeah, the colours, I've got neutral tint there, which is a colour that not a lot of people um, use much, but I do, I've, I've been using it to tone colours down. You can blend, you know, it's neutral, so it just tint a colour. Well, that's it's, in theory it will. You never know when. There's no hard and fast, is there? Just stick the paint on, see what happens. But I notice there's quite a bit of um, white left in the bottoms of these. But I was going to... One thought I did have was to... Get rid of that. To um, perhaps... It's a good start, isn't it? Um, I don't know. Do the old put white on the sky first. Where's my, my mop? Usual stuff, in it. Take your time. No rush. <laughs> Got your, get all your gear together. Got your squeezy bottle, yeah. Could spray the, the sky a bit if I wanted to. But what's the point? We've got a mop. I haven't got my hairdryer set up, so I'm just going to go. I'm missing out the island, but I am going to put just a bit of damp on the water. I've drawn the horizon line that just goes across from the little island thing at the top. I keep calling it the island because it looks like the Isle of Wight as we see it from Avon Beach where I live or mm. from Bournemouth, doesn't it? It looks like exactly almost the same shape as the needles. The only reason I'm making all this damp is because I've got a... Um, inclination that I want to... Um, this is use some of this colour here which is the rose when a little bit of blue um, in amongst is this a, as a sort of tone you could almost paint the whole paper with a, a light wash of um, bluey red violet colour it's sort of a violet can you see that it's quite quite violet but it isn't Alzira and Crimson. I'll just add a little bit, bit of blue to it for a minute. See what happens. But I'm not going to... My first plan is to grab a dollop of the white and put it along the top of the sky. 
just for a, act as a barrier. It's quite, it's not very strong, but where I've damped the paper, I'm just going to add it, see what happens. <laughs> Whistle while you work, say, hum a tune, <laughs> everything helps. I've got this bit of blue violet colour here, see what that does. Don't want to, don't want to get too strong at the top, do I? But the, I've not, need more colour here, a bit more. That's a um, cerulean blue in the, that I'm mixing up with it. It's really dark over here, isn't it? Oh, I forgot something. Damn. No, no, calm down. We can fix it. Dave, you can fix it. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> now, the, the big colour we need is some flipping yellow. We forgot to put the yellow on, which is turning into a sort of a raw sienna colour now. But if you, there's my first mistake today. Um, if you remember when you're doing yours, put some yellow in first. <laughs> <laughs> so, some earlier on, then find have some you, blue. Have you put any masking fluid on this one? No, I didn't want to upset Carol for a third <laughs> week. A, th a third oh, week on the trot. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> it did cross my mind to um yeah, I thought no, yeah. that'd be just wicked. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I have so much trouble with it. I'm sure if somebody else does as well. I, yeah, think I, I do. do. I do as well. So. Oh, good. It's not just me then. No. The um, what I can see of it, a lot of you need quite a pool of this sort of violet colour. Shall I stop looking at the? I might need to um, re-damp the paper in a minute. This is a not finished paper as well. I've got a big pool of paint here that I could just do with slipping off. Just don't want to lose the <laughs> island completely. <laughs> uh, da -da. Where are we going here? There's a bit of grey I've got left over from last week. So I can add a bit of that in. As you can tell, I'm not getting too... It's just a bit of fun with that colour, really. That's it. We're nearly finished now. We're on the home stretch. <laughs> not far yeah. off. Try and come in from the diagonals like we normally do. I've put a little bit of blue in there as well. That I, that's on there, so I'm just I can just lift it up while the paper's soaking wet like this. Mm -hmm. That needs. I'm not worried about it running down too much because I'm going to turn the paper the other way in a minute. Or if you want, you've got that option because I'm at a, an angle of about thirty degrees, but you can. Easy enough, just lift it off with the brush. Now we the little mop brush. Might be able to get some nice while it's damp, just using the mm. the brush, you might be able to get some nice um, little wavelets. That's a bit too much. Let's see what I've done. Just push that yellow up on um, onto the pier there. Find a bit more of um <laughs> I've got to mix up some more of it. So it's just the um really crimsony red and cerulean blue or any light blue I do. And drab of water. Get too many of them. It's 
really only wanted two. So, try and lift one off. Mm -hmm. The brush has got a bit damp there. Let's clean it off. I've got that that um, roll of tissue in the top there, so my hand keeps going up there to damp the brush off. Then I can do that. If I take take if the just lift paint off, but it's the overall blocking in colour that I'm more concerned about, and I don't need to lift some of that off there. Oh, it's the way, isn't it? You can put a load of paint on and spend 10 minutes. <laughs> but it does stain the paper, doesn't it? Which is what you're trying to do. Right. I'm going to try, see if I can turn the board the other way. See if I can get things to run. Paint. Go on. Off you go. Run it sideways. I don't know if that it's the exciting bit it's to know exactly what's going to happen, do we? You have to sort of paint on the on the side. Now, while it's doing that, add some darker blue and perhaps a little bit of raw sienna. So if I, a little bit of raw sienna in there as well. See if I get a nice greyish tone that I can now while I'm working sideways drop some of it in still using the mop see what we can see what we can come up with oh, it's gone a bit too blue now just wanted a greyer tone on that just add a bit of grey on it might, as I said just now, I might need to um, <coughs> spray. It's really, um, really, really odd working from this angle. Need a bit more water over here. Let's just let that. A bit more of this grey colour. Burnt sienna would do it. Ooh. So what did he do? Stick his pal his brush in the blue. Yeah. What? This this mop is out of control. <laughs> but the burnt sienna. It's because I've, I've only used this palette a couple of times, haven't I? Burnt sienna. Added on to the brown, a uh, blue, will give us a little bit of shadow. Color. I don't want to go too mad because there's a nice just really it's about it's an exercise in um, playing with really damp paper and deciding while it's damp keep it going so it's, it's all softening back as well and I think thinking Coming in from those diagonals helps. Just need a bit more grey. Well, that was that horrible dollop of blue that I put in. Where I put the brush in the wrong palette. But if I add a little bit of burnt sienna, it will go that sort of grey colour. While retaining some of the... I think I can go up the right way nearly now. So I've got a line there. Dead straight line. Clean water. Just soften it down again. Try. I haven't got any clean water in my foot. I ain't got any. Okay. It went 10 minutes ago. Right. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Right. Okay. While it's still damp. Ba, ba, ba. So I'm looking for a different brush now, something a bit smaller that I can perhaps find some yellow. Might have to spray again. 
but if you get the just give it a quick spray the rough idea of having no fear but my prime prime mistake was not putting the yellow in at the start I got so excited and carried away <laughs> at the thought of um, using the the lovely colours the um, light red and blue I was so focused on doing one thing I totally forgot the other hey -ho. but we can fix it can't we if the worst comes to the worst, well, if you're not totally happy, just add a bit bit more white onto the brush. Just use some of that. Did it Chinese white would be fine. It's my sky. Decide how it goes. Got lightning going over here somewhere <laughs> where it's gone down. But clean well just water on the brush. Should be a good idea. Um, if you want some, let me get this squeezed out. The um, I put some clouds in. Just use a damp brush. Just lift them off. Lift them out even. It's simple. Especially, oh, this brush is so. I'm going to use the. That was the um, mop, but I just got the. They're very good brushes, but they go hard. Once they, if you tease all the paint out of them, all the water, you get like a hard. Turns into a. A really a hard lump which for lifting off clouds you don't want you don't need tissue really just use your brush just lift them out gently down get in there probably have to be a a two-stage sky could do a little bit more up there couldn't it now I'm going right-handed now just to lift out some clouds. Just use your brush and a tissue, just damp it off where it's fine. Especially when the paper's wet, because you're just gently lifting it and then it will dry back because it will, it will still carry on moving around. It's got some depth going on. Yeah. Very good. I like that. Shame about that um, yellow area, but uh -huh. even Turner used to get a bit confused at times with spit. And if you use the brush, sort of go down just just a little bit, you can see I'm just going like that. And if you leave, you can leave a little bit underneath and that'll form the, the shadowy bits in the clouds. Works really well, that. You can see that where it was really bright there, that's now starting to soften down. I was doing it the other day and I was, thinking, I was doing the sponge and I thought, well, why don't you just use, a, use the brush? It's, the same. <laughs> it's doing the similar thing and you, you can get more control. And you can, if you, you can spin the brush as well, turn it into a cumulia, what they cum, cumulus type cloud. Hmm. You'll get, so it's worth a, it can take ages, can't it? You put, like I said, you put all that paint on and now I'm spending an inverted amount of time dropping it off but you do as you look at it you will it does become quite uh, fascinating 
because it's drying at the same time yeah so you you're finding new new areas let me just grab a little bit more color a little bit more of that violet color don't know why i'm i'm drawn to don't it to blue i'm drawn to put in a little bit more over this side probably have to oh, i'm not going to do that i was just about to put the palette on the chair because i know what will happen <laughs> sit I'll, I'll go oh, yeah i was just i'm just going to sit down and do this bit <laughs> well luckily they're not they're not clean trousers so <laughs> jeans yeah i think i'll this area i'm gonna just let it do its biz and i might come back to it but while you're up while you're you can pick up paint from obviously one section while it's wet and drop it off so if you don't wipe the brush off in tissue you've still got or even if you do lift it off, you can still move it to another area, which is always a. And these bits around the edge as well, they're all, they all come into play. Not sure about that bit, but you can pick up some nice little tones. As I say, lemon yellow is the yellow that we want just dabbling off some of that that's so uh, that was my my mess up for this morning should have used lemon yellow on the background i'm gonna let that do its do its bit now let's dry it off i'm gonna try and soak off some of the color off of the white building Seeing as I wasn't allowed any masking fluid today. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's, I'm going to have to grab the, the dishwasher in a minute. I mean, oh, look, nobody told me about that. <laughs> it's told you paper was wet. <laughs> But I'll just do it with my brush. I was just thinking I'll get the hairdryer to dry it off and, and that turned up. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Just gently. Because I'm going to go over it a bit anyway. Out of disadvantage, out, out of something horrible, something positive should... Or is it... It's the god of watercolors told me I needed to fix this area. If he let it dry too long, it'll go into a run back, which is okay, but even more. Yeah, shame about that bit. Okay, mister. These figures. Let's give it a go. It's a bit damp there. It's a bit of a line there, but I'm saving that for a bit of flesh colour in a minute. Even my tissue's filthy now. Given up. Shows how much paint I've pulled off there. Yeah. Hello. That's Terry. How do I get in? <laughs> <laughs> I've sent him I oh know he should be okay I've sent him a few emails saying click here this will get you in blah 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 let me just grab the hairdryer and give it a suzz but I will tilt it that way for a sec right hairdryer where are you ah oh, got it I've found it has the video been alright Chrissy it hasn't stuttered or anything no, it's fine. It did come up. I did see him. Oops, nearly fell off my headphones. I did see a message come up 
just as I started the Zoom saying your internet's dodgy, and I thought, oh, here we go. Why does it do that on a Tuesday morning? Okay. Hang on. Were those your roses you put on Facebook this morning, Chris? Yeah, my garden. How come they've grown? At, yours are out early. <laughs> Everyone else is saying, well, ours haven't bloomed. Ours haven't bloomed. <laughs> One really lovely. I don't know what you've been feeding them. Actually, nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's going to I knew you'd say that. <laughs> so obvious. Yeah. yeah I, I chucked some um, fresh compost drain them. That was all. Yeah. yeah no, I, I've got some. I've got some um, feed, but I haven't actually done it yet because it's been too too dry. They're obviously happy there, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Did you prune them at all? Um, the big ones, the the big climbing ones, I do. Yeah, I cut them back quite hard. Yeah, um, I haven't done that to the ones at the front. I've got a load of. I might just go out there and give them a going over. Yeah, I deadhead them regularly. No, they are they are exceptionally good this year. They look nice. Yeah. Mm, I love roses. I haven't done for a long time, but I've planted a um, planted a rose every um, year on the anniversary of losing Brian, and yeah. on, our, and on yeah. our wedding anniversary. So I sort of um, got quite a nice collection now. I haven't really got room for any more. Oh. <laughs> this paper must have been wet because it's taken a while to dry off. It's still cockley. <laughs> So hard, it's um, it's quite a difficult sky to to, to get that sort of violety colour. I've I've tried, I've done it before, and it's always been a bit of a good fun though. Mm. Well. Anything that's makes it hard, harder is good. We don't do easy anymore. <laughs> no, I have no. It's a change from. Um, it's, it's good doing it like this because you sort of, one minute mm. you're doing that sort of portrait methods of painting, and the next, and then having to adjust hang on I'm tied up with a hair dryer um, adjust to paint seascapes or something a little bit more <laughs> fascinating oh, I've got yellow here so this is one of the things I wanted to do and I'm going to do it what now is I've got some flesh in the palette, and I'm going to put it on now. Whoops, it is solid colour, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Dave, it is definitely solid. So I'm going to add some into it now because I want it. I want it to look like sand. I don't. I don't want it to be. Um. Now I've got yellow. Well, everything's going wrong here. Well, misplaced. I did have some flesh. Now it's got yellow in it. Dave, it's fine. What do you like? All I wanted was to add some fleshy tone into the sand. That's all. That's all I wanted. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, now I'm picking up purple from the edge of the paper <gasps> everything's going wrong that can go wrong nah it's all right we're, we're just going to keep going with it there was a there's a blob of purple down on the you could just off the shot 
and uh, oh, I know where it's coming from. It's coming off this pallet. It's dribbling on me end. Mm. But meantime, with that little bit of flesh, you can add it. Just keep it going. Lift it off. Move it around. But remember which way the the beach is going. Yeah, that's all right. Quite happy with that. I'm going to find a bit of tissue to try and clean my hand up. I've got all the paint dribbled. Look, it's all over me flipping hand. Here. <laughs> that's, that's trouble. Well, that's the thing about these type of palettes, isn't it? You're holding them up and you tilt it at an angle. Look, there's a blob over here. It's all dribbling. Oh, I don't suppose there's a hole in it here. Right, getting there. Yep, happy about that. Apart from that, I'm covered in paint. Oh my, damn it, where is it all coming from? Help! <laughs> I've got plenty of, oh, even my roll of Boris tissue soaking wet. All these poor people trying to get back from Portugal. Oh yeah, I'm sure too. They 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 had it all sussed. They came mm -hmm. back. They came. They had it all worked out. It was only a sort of a what do you call it? A mini break. They were well, mm -hmm. well. They were home last Wednesday, I think. So wow. Just as it came out, don't go to Portugal. They'd they'd already just arrived home. So lucky. Yes. Lucky, lucky, lucky. The um the good thing I right, I'm just thinking here. The good thing I got a phone call from David Jr. the other day saying that um so I was wonder I was wondering because I did those pictures for his um nan in law. This is a bit of white I'm putting on here, by the way. Just adding to the headland in the back. Yeah, I did wonder um, about the paintings I did for his nan's 90th birthday. And, uh, apparently they were all right. They were, well, very happy. Such a relief that, wasn't it, when you... You send off a picture. <laughs> you don't what hear anything it? for a while, and then what picture was that? Oh, I did that. The um, little pussy cat. Oh yes. Well, big little pussy cat, really, wasn't it? It's was huge. Mm -hmm. Um, and they like that. So I'm trying to find a nice bit of green here. Don't look. I'm going to get much luck. So I've put a little bit of white on this island bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to the tops. I've got to do something about it here because this is a white building. So I'm going to follow it, follow it along the building. Ooh, that was a bit much. Yep, no fear there, Dave. Have you? No. It's all right, it's an undercolour for when I put um, a little bit of blue on it to turn it green. That I've mixed up what I have mixed up over here. But trouble is, well, not trouble, what I'm conscious of is I don't want to make it too dark because it will bring it too far forward. So when it dries, I'm tempted, I'll probably add some white onto it, which I have got in the palette over there, just to keep it muted. If I put white on it, it will go back into the distance a bit. Only problem is it's marmalizing the lovely green effect I put on it. So, and for a penny and for a pound, We'll add a bit of um, this light red purpley colour. 
within it as well because it's local isn't it it's local to the to the sky and everything else just add it in oh, oh, yeah. what I'm trying to do is differentiate whatever that word is <laughs> differentiate it from the sky uh, from the pier because that's going to have to come come out in a minute and the fun beauty of watercolours if you think it's a bit too strong just get a bit of tissue and lift it off this bit looks nice with the yellow so I'm going to tease a little bit more yellow so there's a light in it we're looking for light just it over in there and we'll pick that out later hmm, quite like that even though I'm sat quite close to it the other color we're going to need I think this is burnt umber well it's brown but burnt umber or is raw umber and burnt sienna make brown make burnt umber so just to confuse everybody if you haven't got one, you can always make your own, which is, I think, which is what I was angling on doing here. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. Just wanted a dark colour. So I haven't got one. Any darks in here? I've lost my sketch. Where are you, sketch? Bins on it. Okay, think, think, think. It's always a good idea. Right. I think my next blocking in attempt is to have a little bit of fun with the pier. Which is why I've mixed up some of this dark colour. But it's a combination of yellow, this purpley colour, uh, light red, rose, call it what you like. And I've actually tried to, um, where I've put pencil marks, cause I, I'll keep looking at these. Um, dark bits on the pier, and I'm thinking, I think, oh, look at that, they're like little rows of shops. So, just going to put a few in, and there's a big, there's two there, I think. Yeah, add a little bit of blue in a minute. This one here. Much concentration going on here. <laughs> and I've got, well, the beauty of it mixing it up, this sort of colour, is if we add a little bit of blue to it, we'll get a shadow tone. So, which is the blue and that light red, a bit of ultramarine. So, we've almost got the whole gamut of colours that we need here now. And just drop them in. I'm blocking them in quickly, but I'm conscious of the um, the water at the background, the back of the uh, or underneath the island. At some point, I'm gonna have to just when it's dry, try and put a little bit of information on that. Just a little bit of a hint of something there, which will be with a thin brush, small brush, even. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just blocking these these bits in the pier in. But this end, I'm not sure what goes on. So I'm just going to go squishy squash squish with the brush. That's the highly technical. Mm -hmm term that it takes 
50 years to suss out out of what the heck you've got to do there. Really, it's just a matter of going up and down, putting lines on, just little bits of shadow, so that, oh, there is a, it's all right, I'm being attacked by my palette again. I've just got a little bit of blue on the, on the brush, and I'm thinking, this is funny. It's so damp. This paper is still going up and down. And I put my hands on it. And as I lift my hands off it, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's sticking to me. Fascinating. Well, it's because I, when you paint for yourself, norm oh, I didn't mean to do that. Talking. Um, when you're talking, you don't paint like this. You sort of sit there, do a bit, walk away, come back. You know, if it's too damp. So this is quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got this sort of shadowy colour on there. Now, what I want, and I'm wondering if I'm going to get it or not. So over here in the palette, there's a, a little bit of this purpley colour. But I don't want, all I want is dirty, dirty water, really. So I'm just going to put it on this building, make it look like, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. That'll do me. And the piece de resistance here. It's going to be whacking in some darks where the pier is, which are mixed up here, burnt umber, blue, bit of sienna. Really, it's dark brown, isn't it? I'm going to go along there. And then Join it up. Where am I joining it up? Along the top here, out to there, isn't it? A lot of rigor work in this painting, ladies. <laughs> Just get your rigor and paint with it and draw with it. My paper's really wet, but good practice putting fine lines on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what at some point in the some sort of maybe the future, put in some there are some windows on that. Put in tighten it up later with um, some white on the buildings or when or if it's. When it's dry, you could actually scratch it out. I did pencil in, um, even though they're not easy to see. Hang on. There's a landing sort of stage thing at the end of the pier here. So I'm going to follow on my... Sort of methodology that I was using earlier, putting a bit of yellow and then purpley, whoops, still see, okay, a little bit of purple on top of it to give it that, it, that way it's like, it'll feel like it's got some of the, captured some of the light from the, you know, the sunset, sunrise, whatever it is. Try and find some of these um, sticks that are holding the pier up. I did um, count some of them and try and put them in relatively accurately. But that's a personal decision. After a while, you get you'll get bored. 
thinking does that one go there that one goes there oh no i missed it. oh is that right oh i don't know so in the end you just say now i'm just going to put some sticks in and leave it at that there is one one spot which is which i'm just touching now there where it's got like a step or a ladder if i recall rightly yeah. will it work will it won't this is the this is the um trouble with doing paintings that you're not 100 percent that have never been done before and composing a view that doesn't actually exist unless you're up on a drone looking down so let's make that island a little bit bigger and for a minute that was raw sienna just going to add a bit of blue on top of it see if it will go greeny color my th thinking is that i might be able to make the building show off highlight a bit better funny isn't it I, after all these years i still don't use green Yellow and blue mixed up together, I'll do all the time. I'm just, just seems like the proper way to do it. Right then, what are we thinking now, Dave? Don't know. I'm thinking, yeah, get a nice, this sort of shadow colour, which is really the basis of the whole thing. I'm going to put some lines along here. Try and I reckon that should have some sticks in it there. It's like, yeah. Just go with it. Go with how you feel. Try and vary them. It just looked like if I didn't put a stick there that that building wouldn't be able to stand on the end of the on the pier it would fall off so i've put some on all i'm doing with the rigor is this color maybe a little bit of the browny color it's just darken it it's the shadow tone and just filter it across underneath because the pier even though we're only looking at it as a single line it is actually probably what 20 foot across or whatever so the shadow underneath can be quite quite wide hmm. almost getting there shame i didn't have any lemon yellow though it's perplexed me that is so i'm going to put some in there anyway because I've just spotted, I don't think it is lemon yellow, I think it's a little bit of um, whatever yellow that is. I think it's a bit of Terry Harrison's golden yellow. I think it's um, some of that that's found its way into the white that was in the palette. Hey ho, very nice. Once you get get hold of a rigor brush the only problem with it is it's, it's so difficult to let it go they, they, they're like little magnets i'm just gonna i was gonna say i'm rushing here but i don't know i'm just maybe because i'm in the groove as they say and i mean i'm just thinking why does the painting have to take days to paint? Why can't we just get on with it? It is a watercolour. Can we not just relax and say, no, this is the, the little groin thing. So I'm still using the rigger. I'm just, just going to say it sticks to your finger and that's the end of it. I think what I'm going to do, well, no, not think, I am going to do, Stuck my brush in a dollop of flesh tone. 
and I'm just painting the groins because I know it's quite an opaque paint. Well, they, they're boards, aren't they? They're wooden boards, not groins. The groins are the the other bit. So I'm just going to stick a dab it on. A bit too blobby there, but it is um, quite a solid paint, especially up this end as well. But using the regular on its side, and it's it's blending in with the yellowy colours that I put there earlier, right from, from the get go, and I'm just. If I don't do something um, like this, they'll they'll be hard to spot. They they won't show up enough. I will in a minute because I'm going to put some dark, some extra darks on them. But I just needed a a different background. <gasps> Why is everything coming out all? Oh, the big blob of paint came out then. It's a rigger. You're not supposed to hold that much paint. This end over here, this end, we can even tease a bit of white into it. Into the boards. Chris is going to love this bit. <laughs> Give me that white. Um, just... Um, I don't know what all this monarchy is about, this painting, and it? it's just. Oh, you know what I did there? I just put. I'm get... I've not got used to this This palette. I just stuck a... my brush in a big blob of um, neutral tint. Didn't want to do that. So this colour now, this dark, has got about all the colours that I've got in my um, palette all mixed up together. So anything can happen in the next couple of minutes. All I'm going to do is just add a look for some where I've put the, the flesh tint. Just add some little bits of the real dark. But the fleshy bit, will st you won't get rid of all of it you, if you use it. The brush, just a little bit, it will stay, and it you'll get a little bit of like an undercolor of light. Apart from where I want it to go dark or lightish in a minute. Be bold. Oh, not that bold. Every time I say something like that. Something daft happens. Never mind. <laughs> Be bold. Whoops. Oh dear. Every time, isn't it? It's so funny. Well, I'll make use of it, even though it was a a faux pas. It went down, but I'm just gonna add some a little bit of yellow and clean water underneath it and just decide that it's going to be a shadow and there is if you look there is a sort of a shadow area there so it was meant to be well done I like that um, using the shadow color which is that red uh, crimson color with some cerulean blue put that underneath the the groiny bits which are really soaking wet at the moment so I'm not gonna get away with messing about with them too much. Now we've got a little bit of shadow over here. We'll stick a couple bits in the waves. I'm still sat down, I'm just quite don't know why. It's usually stood up at these sort of things. If we put a line of paint on a line of shadow. I'll do it again up here. Uh, where should it? There. Don't want to go too far up, otherwise I'm down as well. The paper will get the, my figures will get soaking wet. A line of colour, 
and then clean water and soften it down. Try and get it right. Add a little bit more blue if you feel that it needs to. Plenty of water as well. Just put a few thin lines. Might have to lift that bit off under there actually. I did say earlier that where the island is, you're going to have to use a little bit of extra colour, which for the background C shows I've oops, uh, nearly fell off, couldn't get my brush. Shows I've got no fear. I'm going to use the flat brush and just go straight across my horizon there keep going i was going to say i'm using my right hand but i'm not unless i am confused uh, that's just a bit of that tonal color try and make it blend in this is the sort of thing you can do to see how you feel now Adds a little bit of interest. When I stand up, I'll, I'll, I'll change that, I suspect. Um, more dark. More darks, yeah. Don't be shy. Think nuts and bolts, because they bolt these things together, don't they? Big screws. Always enjoyed doing um, these groin things. <laughs> You can get have some real fun with textures. You can even put, um, if you use raw sienna and add blue on top, you get a sort of seaweed greeny effects on them as well, which is really nice. There's a little bit of it there. And camera action. Have a little bit of uh, just for fun, damp water. Let's see if we can intimate that there's a few reflections, but it's just the, the dark shadow bit. Don't think it needs many, maybe just a hint of something there. Well done. Right, I'm going stand up now. Mm -hmm. See what a mess I made. Oh, that's not too bad. Characters. Have you got a character? Yeah. Apart from where I've been sticking me, me arm in. But that's... Should be able to wipe that off, shouldn't we? Right. Has it got a story to it? Everybody's the other day. I I try. I was thinking. I set. I put a little easel up, thinking I might paint it. The picture stood up. You know, at a, like the, at a proper angle. A chicken day. Mm -hmm. It just didn't feel. You have to. You have to go with how how comfortable you are, isn't it? Yeah. And I thought, mm, isn't broke. Don't fix it. Sort of thing. These things. Uh, these that are calling them shop. They 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 just look like little shops to me. Just gonna. Tweak them in the building. I'll probably go over with some white at some point when it's dried off a bit. Unless I can do it with shadows, which I don't, I'm not sure if I will. It needs to be a really bright white, Chris. You'll mm. be all right with your um acrylic. I'll try and lift the back of the building off a bit as well. Right, let's have a little think. Where are we going? Right, we're going with a mop. 
Okay, look yeah. at your sky, and it looks like um, a big white owl <laughs> swooping in. <laughs> the two dark bits of the eyes. Mm. <laughs> it's like it's flying towards you. Terrible, yeah. isn't it? Once you see that, that's it. Yeah. It's, just, it's just a bit more of that purpley colour. Hopefully. Put a bit up there as well. Squish it with a mop. I'm, I'm just conscious. Everything's going the same direction, isn't it? Into the centre. Hmm. I'm going to dry that off now for two secs. I can't see an owl yet. Do you have to pay extra for that? <laughs> if you got it's, if you got cloud dogs or something like PB, you got to charge more for the picture. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm always seeing things in clouds. I love looking at clouds. I was reading something about that the other day, and it wasn't positive. Oh. It was something, it wasn't mental illness, but it was something yeah. um, not as positive as you think with your, with your psyche that makes you do things like that. So I've stopped doing it now. <laughs> no, it's true. I can't, I remember looking at it thinking, reading it and I thought, oh. That's what that's what all that is about. When we were kids, me and a couple of my friends, we used to lay on our backs and just see who could find the things in the sky. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's lovely. Innocent, lovely. Yeah, I agree. Weather. I do it on curtains. <laughs> curtains? Curtains, yeah. Patterns on curtains. I see faces, everything. Oh gosh! <laughs> when I go to if, if, when I'm lying in bed, well, I don't I don't have the curtains drawn anymore. But years ago, I was being I think, and the annoying thing was, you think, oh, that's just, that looks like a face, or what? You know, like you do. Yeah. And then in the morning, you think you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh God! What was I drinking last night? So, Nothing. When my brother was little, and he was only about four, I suppose, he used to have a terrible time at night going to sleep, and he used to say, there's skeletons in his room, skeletons in his room. And it was um, on the wallpaper. It was like a lot of musical instruments. And the he didn't notice it in the daylight, but in the nightlight, all the white seemed to come forward. So mm. all the... Um, um, i trying to think what it was. All like the stringed instruments, like those cellos and things like that. Mm -hmm. And all the, all the strings seemed to come forward and white, and it did look like, <laughs> it did look like <laughs> bones <laughs> jumping around all over the wall. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. Right. Um, I've got... Child. Got two. I put. I've sketched two figures in here, so I might as well have a bit of fun with them. Blimey, it's been a while. But I'm using a little bit of that local colour. Try and get them to look. Some. I put a little bit of flesh tone on just underneath, just to. See what would happen, really. So, just a dollop of it. This is yellow, raw sienna. It's basically, it looks a bit, bit early or late at night for the bikini. <laughs> so, but I will, I could, if you, I don't know what's. I'll put a little bit of flesh there and there. See what happens. My friend, here's a funny one. Well, not, he's 
one of my acquaintances makes astro bods what you call them what you like on facebook he was having a good old whinge because he's been for an mri scan about 18 months ago and um he rang them rang the surgery a normal thing you know i come to get my results it was about 18 days ago i haven't heard anything oh right yeah so she pulls it up and she says uh oh I can't read it. <laughs> it was one of these long medical words. She said, I can't read it. He said, well, that's all right. Then just gonna just get a doctor <laughs> and talk to me. I said, oh, can't do that. No, they're all busy. He's going, well, <laughs> it was going on and on and on. And uh, in the end, he didn't get his results. And he got, this was like today. And he said, well, the doctor, I put you down for a, phone call appointment they might get to you on wednesday but they are busy but don't so don't um really expect it oh dear he's gone ballistic hasn't he like this guy i thought well actually i was thinking he said letter to the practice manager is in situ you know on its way and i thought well actually the practice manager is going to look round and and say that receptionist done her job she did a good job that's what, they, that's what she's supposed to do so i was thinking there's no point in getting too excited she'll probably get a bonus for that after watching my hero on telly with mrs raven on i mean if you haven't watched it it's worth it just for watching her do that that's what she's the receptionist and the in the practice on my hero <laughs> she's and it's dark humor isn't it because they've obviously um created that character to um have a little snidey swipe at doctor's receptionist and that's quite a few years ago now that that program was out just i'm just looking for little bits of shadow and stuff now how are we off for time have i got time to put the groin in uh the thing um, in the in the water five to 12. oh so i've got to be diver in here for an hour yet <laughs> you bloody won't um sorry There's, <laughs> i don't think my tummy would cope with it i'm just putting some little mm hints of figures all they are um all i've done oh, let's get a bit of you know a bit of white paper all i've done there is just gone just like that. <laughs> two lines going down really if you do if you do three you can get three people well three people one bending over you can have a whole party of them a whole gaggle of them as soon as you put a line underneath you know, mm -hmm. at that distance, that's all I can, I can't, I'm blind to bat anyway, so <laughs> I ain't never going to, these ones, I don't want, I'm not too fussed, I, I don't know why, but I do, a lot of my two figures walking along the beach are usually, I don't know, they have a romantic feel to them i don't there's a soft side of me and I, sometimes i'm looking at this and i think oh look there's two girls out having a stroll i can't be i can't be doing putting a dog in today i don't the way things have been going if i try putting a dog in it's all going to go pear shaped <laughs> this is too dark here so when it's dry pre-warn you now that that won't look like that next time you see this picture because when it's bone dry tomorrow i'll lift all that out or lift you know lift it down this bit's quite pleasant done a good mm. job there the figures are looking too bad i'll put some more effort into the sub look yeah i think I've, i haven't got a big enough I should really be using a bigger brush. I'll put a little bit more effort into the groin thing because what I want to do is try and 
do what I tried to do earlier, put a straight line at the bottom, center up there, and then the shadow is underneath there. That's the, like the, the base plank, isn't it? Something like that. We'll have to go there and have a look, see how far <laughs> off we are. Yeah. Well, after old matey boy Alan Hayden, he's been selling pictures of Christchurch Priory, Mudderford Quay, all these different local land spots for mm. donkey's years. And I get every time I see him, I say, Child, that don't look nothing like it, ain't nothing like that over there. No, he, he, just, he says, I says, Yeah, just make it up as I go along. Once you, well, you've sketched it, once you've sketched it, and it looks a you know, there's bits of it in there, it looks, you know, it's you've got the bare bones of the thing in there then you can do that because the eye and the brain only sees certain bits and it fixes anything that isn't right really weird it's people isn't it us humans we're weird <laughs> what do you mean some are weirder than others yeah <laughs> i know go on go for it <laughs> Say a word. Yeah. <laughs> some people, could, some of us can mind read. Yeah. <laughs> uh, remote, remote read, re, okay. remote right mind. I can't even bloody say it. Remote rock mind. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> now the next, my last encounter. I think when it's dried off might be worth um, perhaps put, once you get that rigor um, sort of dry brushing just work it left to right should be able to get some s bits of I don't know paddly wavy things going on confidence really just once you've got the rigor on you and you've got so i've said it loads and loads of time there's not much to that brush but once you get a little bit of paint just a hint of paint that's going just keep going with it it just adds a little some little bits of sparkle shadow whatever you like and also what i'm doing there is if, if, if you get it if it because it's not bone dry, if you get it slightly damp, like it is, and go over a piece of other paint, it'll it'll blend it, it'll mix it about. Right, I'm quite pleased with that actually, considering it's a it's a, a composite picture that I've made up, and and a sort of demo -y type thing as well. Ooh. I could. I can do this. I can now. I'm stood up. I can see where some bits I need to lighten back, and some bits I can tease off. And the building, I'm I'm going to definitely have a go at e. Make it whiter. Meantime, I'm going to put that bit of paper. No, I'm not. Was, I was going to say, I'm going to put that little bit of paper there, get another bit, and put that. We don't want to go over the people, do we? And just spatter away and see what happens. Now, to do that, I've just used the brush. I've damped it. Always good to have a bit of tissue around. And start off with, I was going to say, start off with some dark colours, but that's come out a bit. That's the only problem. Damp it on your tissue and then flick away and see what happens. Obviously, don't flick in the same place too long. Otherwise, it will 
one thing I was going to do, what I tend to do is use this, the colours that are in the palette, you know, rubbish ones. It's a good way of getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. But start off, always have purple in it. You know, the, the light colour, like mm -hmm. I was here in crimson, always works. That's slipped down, isn't it? Hang on, let's go back up a bit. I just didn't want to squish the people too much. Don't need a lot. Just get start off with a dark, uh, with a light, with yellow or raw sienna. Then the rose madder, I was in crimson with a bit of blue, shadowy colour, and finish up with the dark. But I do tend to flick it on, uh, dab the brush on the tissue because you don't want it coming out too much, too fierce. Let's have a look. Right. Then the big reveal, in it? See yeah. if it's made any difference. Yeah, it's, it's toned it up a bit. Um, the other thing I usually do is, not with that, I won't, because that's get a piece of dry tissue. Seem to be a shortage of that. And just using an edge, go along where the speckles to where you want the shadows of the speckles to fall so they'll they'll go one way or the other whichever way you want them to go Ta -da! Ooh, very nice yeah it's nice uh, yeah lovely yeah oh not such a dramatic pink and yellow sky is it is in the picture but i like that yeah it's nice oh, I've, I've, i don't know I, I I stop looking at that once I I um, what's the word I just didn't really want it I didn't really care. <laughs> I, just, okay. I uh, I've tried it I've done it so many times over mm -hmm. the over the years gone for a picture looked at a thing and tried to copy the or get as near as possible to that type of sky and all the rest of it that I given up totally on that i think <laughs> this build these buildings i've still got a little bit of if i can as it dries off over the next few hours well, it's still the, my paper my paint uh, paper is still soaking wet i can add some little white highlights here and there and it will it will change it quite well as well. Even where's the other buildings? I can't even remember where they are. These are two buildings, aren't they? Where they are now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's your painting. As long as you capture the 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 moment and the the back. This doing this with a little bit of white highlighting. The, it is painted with Dulux Weather Shield, so <laughs> you're not cheating anyone, and it gives you the opportunity to make it stand out a bit. Hmm, quite like that. I'll, I'll, I'll have a little, little go at that over the next day. So put some little highlights, and maybe just if you get um, get the rigger with a very thin bit of paint on and just add a little tinge on one of those sticks. What are they called, those things? I don't know. They're the things that hold the pier up anyway. Um, just, you can just put a few in. Don't go mad, but it, mm. it'll, ha it'll add a little bit of, um, interest and, and I noticed that these what I keep calling the shorts if you put a little hint of blue here and there it looks like there's a reflection of the sky and they're obviously glass in them isn't there? This bit over here this end I think I think it is just a, like a 
sort of windowy glass type thing. Mm, quite like that. Oh. Um, the only can still put more white in there if you want, just to brighten it up. Not so much there, but over this end you get away with it. Move that off. Very nice. If you um, if it gets on your nerves, just make it damp and then dab it off, and it'll go back to where it was. Yeah, that's all right. You can always milk. if you've got Chinese white. Remember, you can always um, milk it down, soften it down with a little bit, of, bit of Chinese white as well. Because it's soft, isn't it? It doesn't. It's not opaque like the permanent white that we were messing with. Or the gouache tends to be a gouache tends to be a little bit stronger. I think the, I could put a little bit of extra oomph on the leg. This woman needs another leg. <laughs> you were you were just waiting for me to say, "Oh, I think that's all right." Oh, no, 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 I think that woman needs <laughs> another leg. Actually, I can't really see. Can't see the legs really. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we'll tighten them up later. I mean, yeah. tightening up is. The thing that you do, like we did with it, like I'm saying with those portraits, you do later when mm. you've spent a little bit of time looking at it, thinking, "Well, I don't." Sh this you start you start seeing things in your pictures, don't you? And like <laughs> like this this island thing needs to be um, lifted out. So just clean. Well, I've got clean water. <laughs> Just lift a bit, lift some of it out and tease it back, push it back. Same here. But I deliberately made it dark to see that what it would do to the to the building and if I needed to that's better. Mm. Push, it, push it back a bit. And, but you won't you won't notice those things until till later. So, I mean, you, after a while, you sort of instinctively know that you're going to have to do it. And then, the, then the secret is remembering to do it at some point. I think that needs tightening up. As I say, I need to look at the picture, perhaps, and <laughs> see what the heck it's supposed to be. But there you go lift it back and push it back and just go back with um, the darks the, um, a dark rigger and just add a few of those lines back in to make it dark again just to pinpoint a couple of lines not the whole thing there you go oh. almost there almost there well we shall see I will tight I will tighten it up a little bit at some point change it but the overall diddly do thingy mm -hmm. is there or thereabouts. Yeah. But there's no even at this stage it ain't totally if you think um uh, oh it needs a wash, well when it's dry you can just get this these lovely mops that you've got and just go whoosh, mm. yeah, and add mm. more information, add add a little bit, whoops, done like that. Especially while it's wet like that, it's sort of forming little lines. So, yeah, don't be afraid of it. You're, it's your picture, you're in charge. And then when you, throw, when you put a, a mount on it, it changes again, doesn't it? Mm. I've got any. You know, I have to cut some more. Just just by doing that's a green one. White's probably oh that's a bigger one. Hang on. I've got a bigger one. 
there you go. Yeah. Mm. Just by doing that, that's why when yeah. you guys, when you, you lot send me a send me a picture, I I suddenly put a um, I take it away and put a digital frame on it and send it back because it yeah. doesn't have to change it quickly. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> that mm, if lovely. someone said to me, looked at that, I they I, I I'd say that's a Dave Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Harvey, that looks like one of Dave Harvey's. Or if, if I see it on online, um, see a painting online, and I, and I look at it and look at it again twice, I think, yeah, it's one of my bloody pictures, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I like that. I think that's yeah. a good one. It is, it is. Yeah. It's a good morning's work, lads. I thought you say so. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, very good. Ooh, cool, mine, won't, mine won't look anything like that in acrylic. No. I'm going to try. I'm going to try this time to really water the acrylic stain and see if I can get a more pastel picture. Yeah. D1 has right. been bright blues and white fluffy clouds. And I wanna do, you paint the, do you paint the background white first? Yeah. Always. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad, should it? Yeah. I'm gonna have a go anyway. I'm gonna try mm -hmm. and use my acrylics more like watercolours if I can. And see what it, see what happens, as you say. <laughs> well yeah. yeah. Well, for, for, you, know, you can use you can paint on paper. Yeah. If you're painting on canvas, then the tendency Joyce is you're so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> if, if if you're painting on canvas, the, then the natural instinct is to put more paint on because you've got to get rid of the the cotton, or you feel like you you've got to yeah. do it. So, um, and it doesn't work so well. Wishy washy, does it on canvas? No, I do, I, I do um, one thing that I always remember from George though when he used to paint it. Or with gesso or something at first, mm -hmm. and then sandpaper it. Soften it, yeah, oh yeah, for priming it, yeah. Yeah, and that that makes a difference. Yeah, I told him to do that. Oh, it was you, was it? Oh, right, well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's such a job to remember all these tips, isn't it? You, go, you start painting, you think, oh, I haven't done that. I oh, know. I forget from one week to the next. <laughs> I know. Right. You've all got to remember the yellow first. Yeah. The thing, well, yeah, don't forget like I did. <laughs> it's just lemon yellow, and the beauty yeah. of it is, if you're using lemon yellow, make whatever you do, make sure that you add alzheimer and crimson, or if you've got rose madder, with blue, and then you can go over the yellow, and it won't go green and muck it up. Mm. If you go over, obviously, if you go over it with just blue, yeah. then. But if you do, and it does that, <laughs> wax some crimson on it quick while it's all damp and it should blend it in you'll be painting on that's what i was doing there with that really is um mm. paint it, uh mixing the, the colors on the on the page on the page okay. and that and that is such a it is fun it what is did a, you make how did you make that gray color again that's blue and red is it again which the gray the, uh, the gray that you put in the background of the sky yeah. What what colour is that? That's it's all based on the same. So we start we got Alzerium Crimson Stroke um Rose Matter. Oh which I is, got that. Uh, Does that well it's a sense? it's a light rose it's a light red. It's 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 Alzerium Crimson or Crimson. It's right. a it's a well, I don't think a, we have, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'll have a look. well let's let's just say red and blue gives blue. you that colour anyway. Yeah. Mm. And then if for the grey, if you add raw sienna to it, right, then you start then that will go grey. Or if you right. if you're in real date, just add blue and grey to uh blue and raw burnt sienna. I mean sienna. I have got pain spray, Stop saying but... raw sienna, it's burnt sienna, right? Oh, hang on, add start burnt... again. <laughs> if you got the burnt pur... sienna, not raw sienna, burnt yeah. sienna. Burnt sienna right. and blue will give you the grey. Right. So okay. burnt sienna, adding it to the the blue and the red, the violety colour that we're you mixing yeah. up to do the sky anyway. It will naturally give us it will hint towards grey. 
Right, okay. okie dokie. It's a shadow, really. It's, it's weird. You say it, it's not really grey. It's the shadow. You're adding burnt sienna into the colour that you're using that's giving it a different tone, a shadowy tone to it. Right. Yeah. Because it, it's relevant to the colours that you're using. Mm. If you do it the other way, then it won't work. Well, it will it'll work, but it won't feel right. Because you're right. adding another colour, i.e. grey, into what you've already got, where what you want is the two colours that you're using, the, the red and the blue, to give us the purpley colour, and then add something into that to make it yeah. a shadow of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's what you're doing, isn't it? Yeah. If, you, if you look at that Dalek in the shadow, it isn't grey, it's it's the gold of the Dalek with the shadow colour in it, you know. Yeah, it's, it's all... that's it, yeah. So you use that colour for all for the groins and everything. I just that, added, that, yeah. Yeah, that sort of colour, right. It's getting our colours right, isn't it, really? Look, there ain't no right and wrong, Carol. I keep telling you that. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> if, if in oh. day, you know. Yeah. How many times have I done it? I've just used... Uh, not been happy with it and then I've got some pastels rubbed them in and then got some water and washed them yeah, in and tried all kinds of things <laughs> at the end of the day it's just a piece of bloody paper if you're not happy with it throw it away Way. start That's again it. or That's do what it. I do I've done that on a Tuesday afternoon before now looked at what I've done in the morning for mm, I don't know about that gone and put it in the bath and washed it all off, all off. oh no <laughs> Well, it, well, being watercolor, yeah, <laughs> it, it's it will wash off. It yeah. does wash off, but it stains. It always leaves yeah. some of it behind. And sometimes when you dry it off, you think, "Oh, that's better." <laughs> <laughs> She's done that in the first place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. yeah. Never Terry, mind. Did, we're, Terry, we're there. Terry didn't come. <coughs> Never mind. No, no, he didn't come. Yeah. Never mind. Anne and Gordon are in Sandown. They'll yep, be laughing. Right. They'll be watching this tomorrow. They'll be laughing, going, there's Bruce, there's Bruce. It's our peer. Yeah, that's it. They'll say, that's not right. You haven't done this bit right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm used to that. Yeah. Well, I'm really pleased about this morning there. Eh? Yeah, it looks good. Very nice. Very nice. Right, I'm off to watch Bargain Hunt and get some lunch. Right, oh yeah, need yeah, some lunch. Yeah. Yeah. lunch. My tummy's rumbling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you all next week. Yeah, yeah. okay then. Take yeah. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Awesome. Well done. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye, Joyce. Bye. Bye.